All right, today I wanna to talk to you guys about student loans. I'm gonna jump right to the, the, the end, so spoilers. Student loans, don't get them, they'll f you up. Unless you're a doctor. All right, so student loans. Student loans are not cleared by bankruptcy. Make sure you do your research on student loans before you go into them and really assess what are you using the money for? Could this money or could this education, could this education be attained at a community college or self-taught? Do you even need a college degree? You gotta really think about this folks. I have a, career, I have a degree, I have a degree in criminal justice law enforcement, but I've been, working in IT for the last seven years. So I'm not even using it. And I, I'm self-made in IT. I, I taught myself how to do everything and, and my coworkers and experience, right? On the job experience, that's where you really learn. Are you really paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a piece of paper to say you went to uh, a university and then paying this off for years and years? It's terrible. You really need to think about if you need to get into debt. I would say never do student loans, but I know there's certain uh, occupations like doctor, something that would, it's just super expensive. But if you're gonna really do that, you need to commit to it and actually graduate and be a doctor. Because if you just do this half-assed, you're gonna be in so much debt and you're not gonna be a doctor and you're gonna have huge problems. But other than that, people, you really need to think about what your passion is and how to get there, how to make money from your passion. You could be a painter. You could make crafts. You could build houses. You could do so many things that you don't need college degrees for, which I really don't think you need many things for a college degree personally these days. Everything is changing at a rapid pace. The human evolution keeps going forward. And it's a beautiful thing, but we need to adapt to our surroundings and understand bigger picture thinking. Why are people and banks trying to get kids hooked into this kind of debt this early? They don't even know how money works. Most people don't even know how money, debt, and the banking system works at every age. So you, they're getting these children, especially young, out the gates and then it, it's all over, you, you're set for life, as in paying off debt for the rest of your life. They already got you before you figured out that you shouldn't do it. So you get into the debt to go to the school, to learn maybe about banking. They don't really teach much in actual school these days about the real world and real life and uh, you know higher things like that. So they get you in there, they get you trapped, and then it's just next thing you know, you got credit cards because you can't pay the bills, and it's just terrible because you're paying off these other bills. You got bills on top of bills and it just spirals and just keeps on going. So that is how they get you trapped into debt from such an early age. So you need, really need to think, do I really want to go to school for this? Do I really need a degree to accomplish my goals? You don't need a degree to travel, okay? You don't need a degree to start an online business and do a blog. You don't need a degree to start a YouTube channel. You don't need a degree a degree to do tons of stuff that are being developed, like jobs are being created that we never had before. The work at home force is such a high number of people these days. A lot of flex time, even, even jobs that you go into, a lot of times they have a work from home day or early Fridays, something to that effect. So the workplace is really changing. A lot more work is gonna be done from your home, from like we work type uh, community spaces. And, and things of that nature. So if you're just getting a degree to, to go be an accountant or uh, go be, you know, work in IT, I didn't have a degree and I worked in IT for seven years and I could have went ever, any direction I wanted to. And I worked in management in IT, uh, on the service desk in IT, all kinds of stuff and the sky was the limit. But, you know, I didn't really want to do networking, you know, full time, you know, stuff like that. It, it's all a personal preference. But the thing is they get to the kids, especially, when they don't really even know what they want to do because they haven't really experimented with stuff. And I think we really need to change the way that we do this. This is not the way it should be. I want to educate people. Credit cards and loans and debt and your uh, credit score 
Your credit score, you see how they push your credit score? Oh, you gotta have good credit. You gotta have good credit. Oh, is your credit bad? I will help you rebuild it. How are you gonna do that? Oh, you're gonna sign up, you're gonna, I have to sign up for a credit card? What? To get into debt. <clears throat> People, the only thing you need a credit score for is to get into more debt. For the things like getting approved for um, rentals or to get a mortgage, there are ways around that. It's called manual underwriting for the mortgage to get approved without having credit and credit scores. Credit scores only show how good you are at paying debt. So let's really think about this. People self-identify with credit scores. People self-identify with everything, right? With money, their status, their credit. It's all, it's all a game. This is a game. And I'm here to wake people up to the game. Don't get into hundreds of thousand dollars worth of student loan debt. You will regret it. You will regret it. Just think about it. Think about it, run some numbers, look at how much interest you're gonna be paying and for how long, and think about, is that really worth that? Do I really wanna go into basket weaving for $100,000 debt, four years of the university, I'm just gonna screw around and party the whole time? <clears throat> you know. See, the thing is like, oh, but what about the argument that I wanna get the experience, the college experience, man? Oh, the, oh we, you need the college experience or, you know, you didn't live. It, it's, this is, these are all ways that they get to trap you into the debt cycle. By using all these tactics, oh, you're gonna be missing out, FOMO, baby. Fear of missing out, forget about it. You wanna be in debt? Oh, every, everyone has credit card debt. No, you say stuff like that and you make it a reality and you accept it and you bring it into your own life. You don't want to do that, folks. It's just no good, okay? Believe me, I've had $25,000 uh, $25, worth of consumer debt. <clears throat> and with Dave Ramsey's help and his advice, I was able to pay it off. And I have an emergency fund, like the Dave Ramsey uh, Money Makeover Way. Highly recommend his channel and, and him. Check out his channel, not a paid promotion. He just, he's helped me out through my life 10 years ago when I, when I paid off my debt. and. I'm very thankful that I found him. So really think about what you're doing. Just take your time, don't be forced, and then proceed. And if it still feels right at the end of the day, you gotta live with the consequences. Just make sure you truly know what those are because they might be different than what you think. Thank you for taking the time uh, to talk with me today. If you have any questions for me, I'll make some additional videos. Leave them down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and ding the bell to get notified of every video. And thank you so much for coming on this adventure with me. Living the dream, if you know what I mean. Have a great day, y'all.